Alright, so today I have this Moxon antenna from Video Aerial Systems for my 433 MHz UHF transmitter. Which is this. So let's quickly have a look at this and see what the specifications are. So it says designed by IB Crazy and 433 MHz Moxon. So it definitely feels a bit heavy if you compare it to the stock antenna and you also get this blue tab to secure the antenna onto your transmitter. So this is how it looks once I have it on the UHF transmitter. The form factor has increased a bit. So compared to the stock antenna, the form factor is now a bit more so and heavy as well. So I got this from ready-made RC for $25 and it's basically a two element Yagi antenna which has a beam width of 150 degrees and the gain is of about 5.75 dBIC and it's supposed to boost the range by 70% so I have the specifications over here as well you can read them so I know for a fact that with the stock antenna on my UHF transmitter I got about 700 to 720 meters of range uh, with stock antennas on the receiver but now I'll have to see how far will this antenna push my RC car so that's one thing that I'll have to see once I get to test it and I'm pretty sure that with this antenna I will definitely hit the thousand meter or the one kilometer mark but what's to be seen is how further can this go beyond the one kilometer mark so that's what I'll have to test because not only will I be using this antenna but I'll also be using the 2.4 gigahertz receiver as a relay like I showed in my previous videos and and I'll place this at a higher surface so that the transmission is the best and the receiver can receive the signal in the most efficient way so so if I combine these two things together I'm sure the range will be excellent but there's one thing that I'm concerned of with this antenna is what if I have to use the notch filter for this like so this is the notch filter and if I have to place this between the two there could be a problem with that because the SMA connections on the notch filter are quite delicate and considering the weight of this antenna I think that could be a problem but I don't know for yet but that's something I'll have to test as well so I hope I don't have to use the notch filter for this antenna but if I have to I will because I have it <laughs> but that is definitely a cause for concern so so here's how it looks once I have it installed and and now you can see like the size is even bigger as a whole unit and if I pick it up just holding at this point I can definitely feel the weight uh, moving on the antenna side so so in short I'll have to be very careful if I have to use the notch filter with this antenna so yeah, that's what this video was all about. Just a quick unboxing of the Moxon antenna from Video Aerial System for my 433 MHz UHF transmitter. You can get this for your Dragonlink Easy UHF or any other UHF transmitter as long as it's in the 433 MHz band. You also do get a few other antennas like these for the 900 MHz system. So you can check them out. I've also linked this in the description below. And like always, Make sure to like the video and comment if you have any questions and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.